Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rule Waves 3 as Japan. So, um, off screen I went ahead and basically sent the rest of our Corvette fleet into the dockyard for some very quick rebuilds. I also sent the Sakubas in real quick to get them with Radar 6 as well as to give them a 500 rounds, yeah, 500 rounds per gun on the uh, 4 inch dual purpose secondaries as well as a couple more light AA guns because, you know, we had the free weight as well as a bit of topside space as well. But let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, we'll probably send the Yashimas in next. So this many officers seem to be, or seem to have the impression that Kaigan Daisa Suga Saka of the CA Hagaro, average loose cannon timid, is rather too cautious and weak willed. I'm inclined to agree. Although it's a little bit weird that he's both a loose cannon and timid. It means that he's cautious, but when he decides to go ham, he goes ham, I guess. I, that's okay, sure. Um, yes, a navy does not rise to greatness by having cowards and wimps commanding ships. Uh, Airdropped homing ASW torpedoes improves the ASW of value of aircraft carriers. Our current is uh, 10. Well, that's not quite right, right? Uh, no, it's 12, actually. Yeah, okay. The uh, value in the parentheses is the nominal value. So, yeah. It's uh, 12, actually, for the Hosho here, but that's partly because they are an elite crew of badasses. At least that's the best way to describe them, I guess. We're going to have a whole bunch of stuff that's going to finish rebuilding in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and also upgrade our dock size. We're going to have the budget anyway. I say that, and as soon as I say that, the uh, diet decides to decrease our budget. And I don't know why. They say tensions are low. Tensions are pretty damn high with Germany, guys. And they're not really that much better with uh, the other three major powers that we would actually fight a war against. But sure, tensions are low. I think they're looking at the graph the wrong way. Um, let's see. We should... Oh, here we go. Okay, 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 game, okay. Now, here's the thing. As I have said 20 million times, Germany is my number one pick for an ally in a war against Britain. We're not getting Germany because tensions are high with them. I don't know why Germany is pissed at us, but they are pissed at us. So we're not getting Germany. Um, France is my number two. Unfortunately for us, France and Britain are allies. So that doesn't really work either. Because I would assume that the AI would probably always pick its whoever is like considered the defender there, which is probably basically always going to be considered the other AI rather than you, the player. So that doesn't really work. Um, Russia is a shitty ally against, um, Germany and Britain. They just don't have anything in common that's useful. Um, so I guess we're going to go ahead and, like with the last war, we're going to opt for the Americans or the Spanish, and America's number one in that regard between the two. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, say that we should safeguard our interests by negotiating an agreement with the USA. Fortunately for us, America says, fuck you. Here we go, supercarriers. That's wonderful for us because even though we basically just designed a brand new carrier, and also I need to toss a bunch more spying onto some other countries because, whoopsie daisy, we're going to war soon, probably. And I don't want to quite be caught off guard if we can avoid it. Ooh, wow, the Yashimas actually didn't even get Radar 5. Damn. Okay, yeah, let's let's fix that. Jesus Christ, that's an expensive rebuild. What the hell are you doing, guys? 
you're adding two levels of radar, which is not significant. It's mostly this, yeah, it's mostly the, <laughs> the dropping down. Uh, no, not even that, actually. What makes this so... It's making it all auto autoloaders. That's what's so damn expensive about it. But I have to make it auto loaders. Otherwise, the heavy AA factor doesn't actually go up and actually goes down. So, oof, this is expensive, but luckily it's not time consuming. So it's going to break the bank for a little bit, but we will come out on top. Now, technically, we are actually losing weight um, by using diesel. You should actually go down to oil and turbine. Um, I'm sorry, does that actually make you cheaper? What? Game, I think you're confused. Game, I think you're confused. I'm not kidding when I say that. Also, you don't have missiles. Let's give you missiles. Okay, but it's because it obviously, you know, increases the build time. Yes, okay, that, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. And actually, you're probably not going to get your missiles right now because we just can't afford it. So let's get you the best radar. Let's get you with auto-loaded four-inch secondaries. Space, uh, can't do spacious accommodations right now, so we're going to have to hope that um, you can hold off on that until the war is over. Then we can actually do it. Um, we'll slap... Uh, no, I think 30 light AA is just fine. We're not going to give you more. This is going to break the bank for a few turns, but again, we will come out on top in the end. Of course, I could, you know, do some obvious things, pause the uh, production of some stuff, so we still make a little bit of money for a few turns. Which that would actually, you know, make sense to do it that way. So let's do it that way. A bunch of Corvettes finished. Wonderful. Um, improved jet engines. That'd be great. New jet fighter. Oh, okay. This is nice. Um, yeah, we're probably not getting any real improvements to firepower at this point in time. At least not until we get air-to-air -air missiles. So this is about an... No matter what, the max speed is going to increase by about 100 knots. So we can do 610 or 611. So it's a question of... The ranges, which I'm leading towards the Kyushu here. It's slightly slower than the Yokosuka, but it has the best range. Um, and it has the same maneuverability and toughness as the Aichi here. Although your heavy range is worse. And same with your medium range. But you're a fighter, so you are going to rely mostly on the light range anyway. I don't care that you can carry bombs. You're never going to do it. So yeah, let's go with the Kyushu here. The XLJF-109. Not to be confused in any way with the German BF-109. This is not a German BF-109 with a jet engine slapped onto it. No siree. As Japan, we would never do that. Close to mastering radar countermeasures. New French torpedo bomber. Faster than our fastest. Our new medium bomber from Yokosuka is ready for operational service. Wonderful. Now, admittedly, spying on everybody does potentially increase tensions with them. But we got to spy on them, so we already have the intel when the war breaks out. Um, under pressure from nationalist politicians, we get our budget back. Thank you very much. Probably still not enough to take us back to having a larger budget than the British, though, unfortunately. Uh, radar countermeasures. There we go. Reduces enemy cap and AA effectiveness with a special squadron on board. Oh, and now you make me say, do we do this game? Change your role. Special. And I need to change your number now because of that. You need to have E12 to be effective. So 
So you will have 12. But this means we are over slightly. So we will take one away from the torpedo bombers. Your role, special. Change your number, 12. Okay, no, you need to be 16 on this carrier. Okay, then you will be 16 then. have quite a bit of budget freed up after that so let's get the awamis in now those guys also haven't gotten their fancy new um radar let's give you missiles we will need to remove a little bit of light aa to free up the top side space but that's okay go 78 heavy aa factor that is quite a bit make sure that four inch is still better than three inch and it is right now so we're going to stick with that yep we're not going to go down even though i would in some ways potentially like to uh, yep we will leave this as is Go ahead and save. That's going to be about 2,000 per. So we have two of those. So that's going to be about 4,000 right there, roughly. Uh, do we get the suos in as well? I think we do. Get them in for the quickest that we can. Ooh, you guys are a bit more time consuming going to be uh, with eight turns for that. Although I think we might be able to eke out eight turns. Hopefully. Don't know why the game is... Again, I don't know why the game added tertiary mounts for some of these. But it, it did for some reason. Well, it added the graphics, but didn't actually add the guns at least. But there's no reason to have the graphics if I don't have the guns anyway, so... Uh, I will make you spacious because we have the weight. And we don't have to worry about it when the time comes. Reserve for you guys. Nishans. I don't think you guys can get the best radars. Unfortunately, I will need... Uh, some fairly significant weight savings text for that to be viable. Oh shit, there we go. 16. ASW value on to hear you. Hot damn. Okay, let's go and get these guys all back onto foreign station. You guys are also supposed to be foreign station. We haven't actually gone into this screen at all, this recording session. So that didn't have all the buttons clicked. Uh, New Hawkish government, wonderful. Yes, please, please give it to me. Although, unfortunately, this is also a maybe don't give it to me. <laughs> Because uh, we're just going to go with the middle option. I don't want to increase tensions too much. A strong navy is a guarantee of peace, but it must be coupled with careful diplomacy. Uh, mirror landing aids, complicated stuff, improved missile jamming, but success eludes us. Oh, speaking of, let's check this. Uh, oh, we actually have now overtaken the British on naval budget. Wonderful. I really wish we got... Holy shit, Russia caught up. Russia was behind. 
uh, if I recall correctly, at the beginning of the last episode. But they're now up to advance. Holy shit, Russia. How much tech did you steal from people? Or did you manage to buy a bunch of stuff? You had to have bought a bunch of stuff. There's no way you managed to do that. Oh, never. Okay, I was going to say, why, does, why is one of our dreadnoughts not in a division? But I was looking in the wrong column. An unidentified submarine has fired a torpedo at one of our ships. Fortunately, it missed. There are unfortunately no clues to who it might be behind this underhanded act. The Hawk Party is demanding resolute action. What do we recommend? Um, well, we can say go to war with France, which I don't really want to do. I'd rather declare the war against Britain. Because then we can maybe get a in, surprise attack on Singapore again and do more damage. Maybe actually, you know, invade it at the same time. Probably not, but maybe. <sighs> we don't have ships really in position for this. But no matter what I do, tensions increase, but I can take a minor prestige hit which i'm gonna take I'll, I'll take the minor prestige hit we're at 88 right now improve jet engines oh i love you game uh yes do it now range and speed yeah we only go down to 87 that's fine i'll survive um let's resume these guys because i forgot to un unhalt them uh do i send you guys in for a quick refit uh, tensions are mounting but i think i'm gonna have to do it how low would i have to take your air capacity to be able to make you jet capable 67 i would have to not quite but pretty damn close have you to get that and do not nope that's not true actually that is that is not true that is not true in the slightest hold on one gosh darn second Hold on. Maybe, maybe, game, maybe. We'll still have to decrease the air, air capacity, but can we, we can do 69. And that still leaves us a little bit for some more light AA. I do like it. I do like it. I don't make you, give you spacious accommodations yet. We can do 70. If I give you the spacious accommodations though right now, we do have to do 69, which I'm fine with doing 69 for the air capacity. And again, you're jet capable. You are jet capable. I like that. I like how the game still decides to go ahead and give it props back here. <laughs> when I did that. Um, yeah, you know, I am legitimately considering that if i could actually do it without needing to do a the thing is yeah that's a time consuming rebuild and i don't think we can really do it right now we just can't quite afford it right now if i do three inch guns i don't have to replace machinery but if I do replace machinery 
we can do 71 aircraft. If this wasn't going to be so time consuming, I would do it. I would legitimately do this actually. Okay, yes, yeah, so I can do 71 if we do three inch guns. Uh, nope, I can, I, I would have to, okay, no, yeah, I have to replace machinery if I want to do spacious accommodations. Make sure that that's checked now instead of needing to worry about it later. But if you replace machinery, that's an extra two months, although it's only two months, so maybe it's fine. <sighs> I would I would absolutely love to do this with the Kagas, but we just can't afford to do it right now with war right on our footsteps but i absolutely would do it if given the opportunity angled flight deck jet capable Four-inch auto-loaded guns, radar directed, eight there. Drop all the secondaries, you don't need them anymore. Spacious accommodations, drop that down to oil and turbine, because as it turns out, that's the better option right now. Um, how many aircraft do I have to get rid of? You'll have to go from 74 to 48. 47. I feel like that's losing just a little too much for my liking. Oh, game. Oh, game. Ah, okay. Yeah, so the Hosho is not getting refit to be jet capable. The Kagas might, though, after the war, assuming they survive. Hopefully they survive. I would love for them to survive, but they may not. Um, one thing we're also going to go ahead and get started on, I think, is probably... Uh, nope, not build fortifications, although I wouldn't mind doing that if I had uh, missile batteries that I could build, but we haven't gotten that yet. That's, that's future fancy schmancy tech. Uh, 36 months for that. Hot damn, but war is already going to break, be broken out by the time that's done. Um, okay, we're probably not doing that. I would like to, but it's probably not worth it. Um, build submarines. Let's build some... <sighs> so generally I build medium range submarines, but I guess technically as Japan in some ways, late, long range submarines might be better. I'm going to queue up one a turn for the foreseeable future because we're going to need them. Uh, Russian armored cruiser currently under construction, 12 8 inch guns with four heavy service to surface missiles. And okay, yep, Russia does now finally have radar directed. Medium AA, wonderful, good for them. German CV, 75 aircraft. Um, no mention in here if it's jet capable in any way, so don't know that. 16 three inch dual purpose guns, that's fine. Uh, really? Germany's ignoring the, uh, <laughs> the warning. About more than eight radar-directed medium AA. Germany is saying, no, I don't care. You say that more than eight is redundant. I'm going to put 19 on there. Okay, okay. Yeah, you do you, 
Germany, you do you. Yeah, the game unfortunately does not in any way indicate if something is jet capable. I really wish it did. You know, like like medium AA gets a, an R here to indicate that it is radar directed. I don't, I don't know. I believe light AA probably gets something similar, just like you know dual purpose does up here. But I don't know if it's an R. I don't think it is. It's probably a C or something, but I don't know for certain. I I just do not recall because I don't think I've ever looked at a ship that has a CIWS. Let's build some more of the fancy new uh, destroyers, which are also going to take longer to build anyway. Pretty sure those were supposed to be 16 months when we initially designed it. For some reason, now they're 18, which I don't quite get. Trouble grasping the principles of gas turbines. Gas turbines are basically diesel engines on crack. Um, however, they do have one advantage. Well, one disadvantage, rather. Um, and that is that they are more expensive. But they give you the horsepower. Um, and technically a smaller form factor to an extent, so you can save a fair bit of weight. Um, Germany, uh, I really don't want Germany getting electro or electro optical director unless they sell it to us, which they're not, they're not going to do at this point because we're on the verge of war, you know, stating the obvious here, of course, uh, new British torpedo bomber. I don't care. Uh, the first set of those brand new destroyers are going to be done. Wonderful. Spy from France. Uh, I don't want to go to war with you just yet, so we'll handle it discreetly. There we go. That frees up a fair bit of budget. We will put one in Destroyer Division 10, and then we will design a new Destroyer Division. That's probably going to yeah, just stay as an independent force that we will send around as needed. Still having issues with improved ASW torpedoes, better 9-inch guns. Not that I ever use 9-inch guns, so that's whatever. But, you know, thank you for that, I guess, guys. Tensions with Russia decreased due to random tension changes, but then they increased, and then tensions with Italy increased. Uh, tensions with China decreased, which isn't a surprise. New docks completed. Wonderful. Uh, Dreadnought Katori and Sua and Hatsui's and the Awami are all finished. Internal upheaval uh, in Libya. How about no? New light jet fighter ready. Wonderful. We got some budget freed up now. Let's uh, let's start active fleeting some of our stuff. Because it's going to have to start getting ready for a fight. Uh, we're losing a little bit of money, but it's not much. We'll survive, and we'll stop losing money once the Shokaku is out in a month. There we go. Shokaku commissioned. Three ships finished working up. Wonderful. Setbacks and figure out the concept of missile torpedoes. New German torpedo bomber. I don't really care. 
uh, add air group. Now again, we're going to replace the torpedo bombers for this one, actually. Special. Now, do you need 15 or are you fine with 14? No, you need 15. Okay. And I figured that was the case. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, we cannot have night capable light jet fighters, unfortunately, and dive bombers still aren't quite there. So with our jet capable um, ships, we just will not have that in any way, unfortunately for us, but we'll survive. Let's build some more ships. Um, let's queue up another Uneve. That'll be out in two years. So, you know, after the war is over, probably. <laughs> But nonetheless, let's get it queued up because we need more of them. The first Suneve is going to be out in three months. Safeguard, yep. Let's try again with negotiating an alliance with America. And we got it this time. Wonderful. Improved ASW torpedoes. All ships with torpedoes now have ASW capa uh, capability. Wonderful. New jet attack. Wonderful. So we have the tried and true uh, Kawanishi and Nakajima. Well, I say tried and true. All three of these have been just wonderful companies with designing our stuff. So uh, the Kawanishi is slower across the board, but it has better range, which I care a little bit more about, honestly. Uh, these have zero firepower, so they have no capability of defending themselves in any capacity, which I feel like is a bit of an oversight, but okay. Uh, the Kawanishi and Nakajima are slightly less maneuverable than the Aichi. Um, and the Nakajima is a bit tougher than the Kawanishi and the Aichi. But their bomb loads are exactly the same. They have the same missile capabilities. So the Nakajima kind of sort of gives us the best of both. Well, I say best of both worlds. That's not really true. It's not that much better in terms of range compared to... Actually, it has even worse range at heavy with a heavy bomb load. So, no, never mind. Um, <laughs> so the Nakajima is more range with a light load, which, you know, a single 2,000-pound bomb is still going to hurt. But it has less range than the Aichi at a heavy bomb load. So that's four 2,500 pound bombs. Holy shit. If those, if those manage to actually impact, those are going to hurt. Or we can just go with the Kawanishi. It's only four knots slower max speed and two knots slower cruising speed, but it is significantly faster than either of the other two options. Or excuse me, significantly longer range than either of the other two options. Just across the board. It's like... 30 nautical miles more 30 to 40 depending upon the category but whatever um yeah we're gonna go with the kawanishi kawanishi you've been just absolutely wonderful for us you really have um we're also gonna go ahead and start accepting proposals for a heavy jet fighter as well uh range and speed thank you very much And we will be replacing the dive bombers on the Shokaku, uh, as well as the Akagi once it's out, uh, with those heavy jet attack, or excuse me, with the jet attack um, aircraft. Germany and Italy are very tense, which will hopefully dissuade Germany from going to war with us. Probably not, but you know, you can hope. Uh, large heat warheads increases heavy SSM armor penetration. That's all, that's great. Absolutely great. We need that. Um, division editor. Uh, do we add the... Um, the Shokaku, I feel, is too different of a design to go with the Hiryu in some ways. But I don't know if I really want to give it its own division, because... I don't really have the escorts to give it. 
Well, that's not true, actually. I do. It'll get you as a screen. And it'll get you. I know I said that you were going to be an independent force that'll move around, but I lied. You will be a support for it. And there's the Shokaku. And the Akagi will be joining it as well once that uh, is finished being built in eight months. So that's a little ways out. Unebe has been commissioned. Wonderful. Uh, Kyushu has designed a improvement to the light jet fighter that they just gave us last year. Uh, quite a bit faster. 12 knots there, 6 knots there. Significantly improves the range. I love it. Uh, but it is actually slightly less maneuverable. Interesting. We're still going to take it because there's no reason not to, but that's actually somewhat surprising to me. Uh, ooh, France has had to halt construction of a few things due to financial difficulties, even though they apparently had their budget increase. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Construction of a new armored cruiser with five inch belt. Uh, rebuilding a CA. Of course, the British scientists have invented large heat warheads, just like us. Ooh, American scientists are having trouble mastering the principles of improved electro-optical director, which indicates they have it. I hope they sell it to us. Preferably before the war starts, that I can maybe try to squeeze it in on a couple of ships before the war begins. But knowing my luck, they won't sell it to us. Minister of the Navy feels that it is a pity that such a fine officer is without seagoing command. He suggests that he be put in command of Battle Division 2. Um, I will say yes. I don't know if he's any good, but I also don't know if he's any bad, if he's, you know, bad at his job. So, yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Autoloaded 5-inch guns. Wonderful. Which... Begs the question, just out of curiosity, does that improve AA capabilities at all? It does, but not by much. It's also significantly heavier, so we're probably not going to do it. Well, actually, that actually is pretty significant. That's a boost of 10. But again, it's a pretty significant weight increase what like 210 uh weight here for the Ikitsushimas. I, I don't think we have a way of actually freeing that up at all yeah no we we legitimately cannot free up the weight necessary for that so that ain't happening uh, you are 34 anybody that you could join with the exception of the Akashi and the Kasagi are 30. Uh, but unfortunately, unless I get, I put you with the Kasagi. No, excuse me. Um, unless I put you with the Akitsushima, you are going to be slowed down. Which is, you know, kind of a shame, but you know, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, France grants independence to Middle Congo. Okay. The ship's band of the Hagaro plays a popular opera overture to general delight, though other areas of crew training have suffered. Uh, searching for a missile, for a solution to missile submarines, but frankly, this is complicated stuff. What do you mean? It's just a submarine that fires missiles instead of torpedoes. Mount the firing tubes vertically and put a missile in it. Well, how do you make sure the missile doesn't, you know, get destroyed by being launched under the ocean? I suppose that's what you're trying to figure out, because the rest of it seems pretty self-explanatory, honestly. 
You may not even technically need to do the vertical mount, really. That's just how I envision it. But, yeah, realistically, you probably don't actually have to do that. Um, improved anti-missile jamming. Reduces hit chance of missiles and guided bombs. Everybody's still building torpedo bombers. I can't fault them for that, because, like me, they have some stuff that cannot possibly be switched over to jet-capable without significantly hampering its capabilities. But also, you could just not care. Oh. Well, we don't need America to sell it to us because we just got it. Modern torpedo control systems improves torpedo accuracy. Wonderful. But the question is, can I afford to try to put that on my stuff? It's a four-month build. It also takes us a little over on weight. Or uh, topside, rather, on this Kuba. It takes four months. Do I have four months, though? That's the question. Do I have four months? And I'm going to be honest, I'm not quite inclined to believe that I do in fact have four months. Granted, the Sakubas are not the most important. So they might be okay to have them do it. Because I'm not m really missing anything. If they're in... The dockyard. Hmm. We'll do it. Screw it. The Sakubas are going to go in for a refit. They're going to get their electro optical director. Uh, the Tsushima is almost done. That'll free up a fair bit of budget. Corvette was... Oh, okay. Oh, we're going to blame Germany for this. I'm going to let you all in a secret. It's not really a secret, but we're going to say it's a secret. We can't fight a war against Germany. It's not because we don't have the capabilities. God, no. We could absolutely trounce Germany in an actual war. The reason we can't fight a war against Germany is very simply because outside of the Indian Ocean, we have nothing in common. They own zero territory outside of the Indian Ocean, where we also own territory. Now, we could potentially at this point, I wish I could go and check the map to confirm this, but I believe it is the case that I think we might be able to invade their possessions in the South Pacific if I wanted to. But we don't have a base there. So we'd have to go in and basically try to do a smash and grab to get it. Probably sending in a couple of armored cruisers, a few destroyers, and that's basically it. Because that's about the only way we can cover all our bases. Armored cruisers to take care of the big heavy stuff and destroyers to take care of the small light stuff. And this is just completely ignoring the fact that war with France is also on the table. And going to war with Germany does not necessarily decrease the chances of going to war with France. And if we go to war with France, we're at war with Britain. Now again, we do have the U.S. to back us up. And let's take a look at the Almanac. What are relations like for other countries? Well, Italy's on the verge of war with Germany. So I think we've already had this alliance before. If we haven't, then never mind what I'm about to say. But I believe we've had this alliance before, in which case we are looking at getting the band back together of Japan, America, and Italy, which is a bit of a weird alliance, honestly, but hey, it's what we got. <sighs> Although I don't know what the hell Italy expects to do in a war against Germany. They have nothing in common. 
when it comes to the Navy. Sure, the Army can fight, technically speaking, because they share a land border. But they're not fighting basically anything navally because they don't have... Well, actually, that's not true. It's not true. Italy, I think, unless they've lost it and I missed it, I believe Aretia is in the game, and it's in the Indian Ocean, and Italy owns it, I believe, if I recall correctly. So maybe Italy can help us a little bit in the Indian Ocean, but not enough to matter in any capacity. <sighs> so, and here's the thing. Tensions go up no matter what we do. It literally doesn't matter what we do. We can get a budget increase, take a double prestige hit, and increase tensions anyway. Or we can increase our budget and increase tensions and not take the prestige hit. Unfortunately, our spying on Germany is not at high yet. Uh, I don't really care to take the double prestige hit for something that's going to cause a war anyway. So... The Germans sunk, and I don't know how they managed to do it because they don't have anything in the Indian Ocean, or excuse me, in um, Southeast Asia, because this is Hong Kong that apparently it blew up at. I, I don't believe the Germans did it. I really don't. It was probably the British. They're the ones most likely to have the capability because they have stuff in the in Southeast Asia that would enable them to be able to, you know, send a ship out to plant a mine or whatever on the Canton Maru which is just a Corvette. I don't know why we're acting like this is some important thing. You know, um, what was the, uh, what was the, uh, let me see. What was the USS Maine? It was a battleship. Completely different fucking level <laughs> of anger. Just a completely different level. We're going to war because somebody sunk a Corvette that has a crew of, you know, I don't even freaking know what the crew of the Canton Maru is. I wish I could check that. Unfortunately, I don't think we can. At least not right here. Uh, sunk ships. Um, I'm assuming it's this one. And I can't check the... Uh... Unfortunately, in this screen, I'm not able to check the uh, number of... <sighs> ships there. So it was a foreign station, 1941. See if I can pull up. Nope. Yeah, this just pulls up the same thing. So I can't check the uh, crew complement. But it's like, what, 100 or something? We're going to war because a ship with 100 people got sunk? Compared, I mean, I we'll do it. I, I don't think Germany did this. I really don't. I think it was Britain. Or it was something internal, one of the two. But we're going to blame Germany anyway, and we're going to go to war. Fuck it. We're going to war. America's going to back us, and uh, Italy will probably join in. Okay, so. Um, and actually, no, unfortunately, we do not have the ability to invade the Bismarck Archipelago. Um, if we owned... Uh, Celebes and Maluccas, we might be able to, or if we owned the Caroline Islands, we would have been able to, but unfortunately, we actually don't. Uh, yes, and Italy does still own Aretia, so we're going to need to send a few ships, basically, to the Indian Ocean, probably put a couple in Southeast Asia to capture ships that are transiting through. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Um, you guys, so... 
who do we want to send is the question, I guess, here as well. So you are with Battle Division 2. You guys are on your own. Okay, wonderful. And you have a set of destroyers with you. So you guys are going to go to the Indian Ocean because I don't have a ton of basing rights there. So I don't want to send too much there. So we'll send all the Kinugasas. So they're going to probably get some decent action. We'll see how they handle it. Um, We will... Uh, we will send a battle division two to Southeast Asia. I will have carrier division one back it up in Southeast Asia. Mostly just because there's no reason not to. And we'll have the benefit of having carriers for anything that is passing through. Hmm, okay. Ship's under construction. We're going to need to pause some stuff because I need to free up a budget. Well, we got a fair treasury, so maybe not. Um, We have a bunch of stuff lying around. I don't need all this stuff in the northeast. I'm going to, I think, send this, the mine laying submarines to the Indian Ocean. You guys can go to Southeast Asia. Um, same with you guys. I really don't need like submarines in Northeast Asia. It just doesn't do us any good. Um, are you guys all... Okay, you guys are still reserved. So let's active fleet Rangoon because... Yeah, that's needed. Um, three turns until we get our heavy jet fighter um, request. Um, let's see. Um, the Unebe. Oh, can't add any more to you, so we will add you to you. Theoretically, the rest of this stuff could probably just go into reserve fleet for now because it doesn't really need to be on active fleet. It's just losing us money. We don't need our entire navy for this. Is just the reality of the situation. But those guys on trade protection, I don't need that many, however. I only need 21. Do they just have a small... Yeah, they have a fairly small submarine fleet. It's not all that big. So let's probably put the newer stuff on active fleet and station them throughout. We will do, I think, 20 of these guys. And we will send 10 to Southeast Asia. Although I don't really need 10 in Southeast Asia, admittedly, because there shouldn't be many German submarines there, but nonetheless... Um, and then we'll send the other 10 to the Indian Ocean. Um, do not auto-move ASW ships. Do not auto-move submarines, because I don't think you're going to do a great job with it at this point anymore. I used to think you might do it, but honestly, I don't think you ever really moved the ASW ships, because maybe you just don't know what an ASW ship is somehow. It's probably the Corvettes with ASW value. Just saying. Um, also, now that I have the opportunity, what is the crew complement of this? 115 people. Compare that to a modern dreadnought of 1,000. Compare that to a modern CV of 28... Actually, not even, that's not even the most modern one. Of 2,500... Really, the Shokaku has a significantly smaller complement than the Kaga? Really? What? How? 
Did those 10 aircraft make that big of a difference? Really? I'm surprised if that is the case. That's weird. That is, <laughs> that is very weird. I'm sorry. It just is. Um, I'm going to halt you because that's very, very expensive. Um, okay. Yep. So that's going to be it for this part. I will see you all next time because we're going to fight a war against Germany and also try to avoid <laughs> going to war with France because then that'll drag in Britain. Um, I mean, so I say avoid. It's, it's a damned if you do. No, well, that's not actually true. It's not really a damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's one of those, I don't really want to fight an Anglo-French alliance while fighting Germany. However, there are some advantages in some ways of this. Because unfortunately, the reality is when our war with Germany ends, tensions will go down and we will no longer be on the verge of war with France, who would drag in Britain. But I want to go to war with Britain. I absolutely want to go to war with Britain. Because I want to take Singapore. And I want to take Malaya off them. It's really about all I care to take. Um, Ceylon could be fun, because why not? But I don't really care that much to take it, really. Mostly just to be able to say we did. More than anything else. So... <laughs> We'll see how this war goes. If the war goes swimmingly for us, we might try to piss off the French, drag in the British. Um, especially if the Americans join in, or, or rather the Americans are already involved in the war because then they basically can't leave. They're already drawn in. Um, let's double check relations. Have they changed for Italy? No, Italy is still at a 10 with Germany. So hopefully... Italy will say, oh, Germany's at war with Japan. Let's go to war with them because they're distracted. And uh, they'll declare war, hopefully. And then we can get Italy involved as well. Italy, Italy is, again, not a useful ally for our enemies. They're just not. They're useless against Germany. They have some potential against France, but even then they're not the greatest, really. Um... In fact, I think their budget is so crap that, whoops, they have so much of their stuff on reserve fleet that they have basically zero blockade strength currently in the Mediterranean compared to the French, who apparently are managing to afford 248 blockade strength without issue in the Mediterranean. So, yeah, I'm uh, not quite believing that necessarily, really. Also, did that... I thought they had 19. No, they had 18. Never mind. Okay. I was confused because this has 18 enemy subs, but for some reason I thought Germany had 19. But nope, they, they do in fact only have 18. Okay. Yep, so that's going to be it for this part. Like I said, I will see you all next time where we will be fighting Germany. I think this is the second war we fought with Germany. And the first one, basically nothing happened. Because it's just not really possible for us to fight each other. Even 1912 to 1914. Not really possible for us to fight each other. But evidently... That's just how this is going to go. Also, let's check fleet tonnage throughout the years, uh, particularly more recently. Uh, we are the red, so we're here. Compare this to Britain, who is here. Britain took a pounding during this war. Holy crap, and they've not recovered since. We didn't really get that badly impacted, and we've actually already beaten our previous best from when that war first started. Still not great, though. We're still well under a lot of the competition. We really are. 
um, the economy. We are higher than Britain again, and pretty steadily staying there. America is just line go up, basically. Summary of ships lost. So yeah, we've lost CV. We are the only people to have lost CVs, which sucks. But that's just the unfortunate reality is it's a pain in the ass to find CVs. It really is. And it's harder for us as the player, just because of... I, I don't think the AI necessarily cheats, but the AI is still annoying. It is still annoying. But yeah, so that'll be it for this part. I'll see you all next time. Hopefully this war goes swimmingly for us, and we can consider trying to drag in France and Britain. Um, but that'll probably be made after, hopefully, Italy declares war on Germany. But I'll see you all next time. Till then, goodbye and farewell.